I'm here with those boys, that's right, it's the Shack Man That's right, we call them Shack Man Kings, that's right, Houston's finest, Africa's finest, America's finest. These guys have been one of the biggest Afro beat promoters, concert event throwers in Houston. That's right, they do everything to make Afro beats look good. That's right, so this is a T Club. What a big shout out to Not Just OK. That's right, our sponsor as well as DQ Hookah. I'm here, that's right, Lola Bunny, that's my co-host today. She's an exercise fitness model, that's right. She's single too, that's right. That's right, so all you guys send it in a DM right now, that's right. On my right over here, she goes by Dammy, that's right, we call her Lekwa Shandy, that's right, always sexy. Mm -mm -mm. And she's the official twerk princess today. Yeah. <laughs> so Big Ben's in the building for Shepard Knight. Nights. Uh, that's yeah. right. He yeah, has right. The money man. Papa Ike is in the building for Shepard Knights as well. That's right. <laughs> he turned 75 this year. That's oh, right. 75 oh, later oh, like he's yeah. 16. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so Ike is in the building for Shepard Knights in the building too. <laughs> that's right. So Jimmy's in the building too. Yeah. So Jimmy, we gotta talk. That's right. You gotta hook me up with a do rag. I need some waves. <laughs> Caleb's in the building too. Yeah, yeah. He's an artist. That's right. What are you? One percenter? Ten percenter? Five percenter? I ain't know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's a black superstar. That's right. And he's in the building. And he's got dreads. That's right. And they're long too. So ladies, you can put on that. That's right. Astasia's in the building too. Yeah. She's an artist. Astasia, what else you do? Reality TV actress. Hello. That's right, she does reality TV, so we're gonna set you up with some Shack by Nights reality sessions. Yes. That's right. My name's Heaven Mozart, we're on the T Club, we're about to talk about DeVito. March 15th, that's right, Revention Center, it's Shack by Nights do concept, one of the biggest concerts in the whole of the fucking America. That's right, are you black people? I need all of you right now. I'm tuning in. That's right, get your tickets. Where are we gonna get our tickets? Somebody tell me, please. SKEEvents.com. That's right, pick up your tickets, that's right, because. They're going quick. Yes. That's right. But before we do that, we have a tradition over here. That's right. And Dami. Cups up, everyone. Let where Shandy, please. Mm. Oh, oh. Okay. S-K-E. Pinky's out because we're ballers. <laughs> <laughs> and boss ladies. S-K-E. 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 Solemnly swear to spill the tea, the whole tea, and nothing but the tea. So okay. help you tea. Let's get into it. So I know that you guys, it seems like you guys have a long yeah, young Daisy. Young Daisy, that's right, you're on the grab. We got girls in here, you need to come through, quick. <laughs> I know you guys have been. Uh, you guys have. How, how long has SKBE been? Uh, SK uh, SK Nights have been around. Ten years. Yeah, about ten years. Yeah. So why don't you guys? I don't know. Somebody want to tell us like, how did you guys meet? Because it seems like this bond hasn't broken. And you know, like being obviously promoters, you know, working in entertainment. There's so many things that go on. You know. So how does that happen? That like, you guys are able to keep. Who wants? Who want, you want? You want to do it? Or you want? Don't do it. I mean, I gotta take responsibility. I have to, you know, let the bosses let me know if I can speak or not. Please, big boss, can he speak? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, like, your girl rest his soul. I just have to show you, I ain't gonna say nothing. Somebody's burning sage on Instagram for the tea club. We're burning sage over here. What is it? That's weed? Oh, 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 pass it. Pass the Dutchie, bro. Yo, that's a big joint. That's a big joint. Jesus Christ, that's a big joint. That's a big joint. That's a big joint. Yo, the biggest joint I've ever seen in my life, bro. Your joint's bigger than Fella's joint. Like an arm. So come on, Ike, tell us about it. Oh yeah, so I mean, I, I'm gonna speak for my for myself and how I met um, each of these dudes. Um, See Jimmy. I'm sorry. Jimmy, Can I speak? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, first off, this is let's. I gotta give shout out to who I need to shout out to. This is the 
third anniversary of the person who brought all of us together. Salute. Lega. So a few years ago, he was killed in a, in a drunk driving accident. Uh, drink. Not drink and drive. Or yeah, drink. Don't get drunk. Yeah, he's that Uber. Exactly. He's that Uber. So that said, I met Ray through my sister. So I used to live in Louisiana, right? So I came. Yeah, I was in LSU. The boot, the boot. Okay, okay. Now I was at LSU. That's the problem. Oh, we're, not, we're not about to do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That's all the hell is you. And I'll see you, apart from football, there's really nothing to do out there. So I usually come out here every weekend to, you know, turn up. And I, I come on Saturday, turn up, and drive right back and make it to church on Sunday in Louisiana. So so I came in one, one Saturday, and I see this dude talking to my sister. And I'm like, who is this, who is this dude talking to my sister? And I don't know, it, it kind of got tense, and I, I was about to, you know, I was about to square up to this dude. And my sister like, nah, 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 it's my friend, Luke Raymond. And that's how I met Raymond, and he's been my big brother since then. And through Raymond, I met this grown ass, old ass man over here. <laughs> I don't see not, not even <laughs> one white hair on this grown man. Papa, so I talk about Papa Ike. Papa Ike, by the way, has no white hair on his head. Uh, he <laughs> knows, <laughs> so you know, I mean, yeah. hey, I'm the first one of my my family, right? That's but as soon as I met Raymond, I got, got myself I'm three older you. brothers. He's just dying that shit, y'all don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Check the corner. Oh, yeah. It's the midnight, co the midnight cocoa bean die. I mean, yeah, 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 the last time we only had 20 minutes, why we got a whole hour, so I can't yeah, see. Just go, you know? <laughs> so Jimmy's like, hell no. <laughs> so, so yeah, I met I met I through Raymond. He was he was Raymond's right hand man. And then I met, I met Ben also through Raymond. He married Raymond's sister. Yeah. Uh, so Raymond is like Jesus. the dude. Raymond is the man. Exactly. Man, he's so rest in peace. <laughs> exactly. So I um, feel him. Raymond, you're here. Let's yeah. pour some liquor for Raymond. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Shout, Shout out to Raymond. Raymond. Shout out to Raymond. Always and forever. Raymond, 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 we love you. <laughs> Check when in the building. That's right. Afro Vibes Worldwide Radio. We're on the Tea Club. Let's go. Yeah. So then uh, Jimmy over here. I met. I knew his older brother from Nigeria, and. Uh, so that was how I met Jimmy. Salo Wolf in the building. Oh. Yeah. Salo Wolf in the building, exactly. Shout out to Salo, that's right. Exactly. And the man was smoking that's that big fat <laughs> joint too. He <laughs> <laughs> going out, Yeah, so that's how that's how I met everybody over here and I don't know, we just bonded like right there. We used to Raymond and, and Ike over here. I used to be on campus and in school and they would drive thirty miles just to pick me up so we could go turn up. And we'll come back and do the same thing. Also shout out to our lab bar. Mm. You know, these are the grandfathers of SKE. Like yes. we're like third generation. Like yes. this, we are deep, man. So it's been so, going on. It's been going on for years. It's been going on for time. years. So, yeah. so that's how I met all these people. As we used to party all the time. We used to do house parties, and, uh, and when we find out, like we need to, we need to take this vibe and spread it around, spread around Houston. It's like people not doing this, and um, Ben, Ray, Ike, G. D. Who are the founding fathers? They were like, hey, let's do our own thing, man. And me being in school that time with no money, I just attached myself in there. Oh, so, let me get in there. Yeah, let me get in there. So, and that's how SK was born. Boy, and if you look from where we started, used to be like seven dudes in the club, wow. no girls, yeah. and we'll turn the hell up. It's Christian changed line. now. Yeah, Systems have changed yeah. now. That's right. <laughs> There's Crystal lots of girls. girls. Remember those days? Yeah. Phase yeah. two yeah. lounge. That was just yeah. a living room. It was a house. It was someone's yeah. house that turned into a lounge. Yeah. That's the way we do it in Africa. <laughs> that's why yeah, it would be just day. us and we'd turn the hell up. Like, I remember one time I, I went to Af I went to Nigeria and one of my friends took me to this house and this other house was a strip club. Yeah. 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 That's right. Oh shit! You don't get better one time. You're getting better. And you're getting better. And we got to this point now. So, I mean, I well, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we got we got a latecomer. Hello. That's right. What's your name? Why'd you why'd you oh, speak okay. into the mic? Okay. Somebody step into SKE interview late. She goes by the name of Princess K. Princess K, how are you? Hi, I'm good. That's fine. Where you come from? I'm actually coming from Dallas. That's right, she came all the way from Dallas for SKE. Uh, uh, uh. Well, let me introduce you to the party. That's right, this is Lola Bunny. That's right, that's uh, Jimmy. That's uh, Ike, that's Papa Ike. That's Astasia right next to you. The handsome one next to you too with the dreads. That's right, Caleb, Stash. the great. And that's right, they, they're all pretty people in here too. And that's right, Sub Ben. That's right, 
This is Dami. That's right, this is DQ Hooker and the like, and that's right, that's Kill. Welcome to the Tea Club. So let's talk about, um, you guys actually have, uh, I don't know if you guys own it or you're partnered, but you guys run one of the hottest nightclubs in Houston mm. yes. right now, which is called O2 Lounge. Yes. Shout out to O2 Lounge. Shout out to that's right, shout out to O2 Lounge. Yeah. That's right, one of the hottest that's right, right now. spots in Houston. Nice spots in going what? Going yeah. strong like one year, two years now? Doing it. That's right, killing the game. That's right. But I know that SKE uh, has a lot to do with that. Does anyone want to talk about that? How did that come about? We'll leave that to the money man. Ski ski! Big man, big man! Big man! Money man. You guys should already know that I don't like speaking. <laughs> 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 Alright, okay, so O2 Lounge started like what? A year ago? Yeah, 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 two yeah, years now. So, yeah. so, Shepard Nights, uh, we do Saturday nights at O2 Lounge. And I'm part owner of O2 Lounge. So, shout out to O2 Lounge. Jesus! You know, out, you know. It's Jeez. late. So, yeah. <laughs> so, we'll be two years in like, what? A couple of months. Yeah, yeah a few yeah. months. Yeah. So, right now, we are uh, trying to expand and hopefully we should be done by. Um, Next month. So. Yeah, you had that now. Yeah. Ultra long, you gotta yeah, we're about, so. we about to get bigger. Yeah. So all that, you know, we're gonna stack that shit up again. Oh, we're fixing our AC. Hey, thank <laughs> God. Hey, fire! Last time I was sweating. I don't like it. And the reason why AC broke because there are too many fine-looking women inside the place. Too much meat, bro. Too many bodies. There's too much sexiness going on in there. Everything else is good. You already know how we do it, O2. Hey. That's right. O2 is the spot to be. That's right. Saturday. Yep. So, I mean, one, you know, is there a particular reason that you guys wanted to go into, like, you know, create a, an entity like O2, like a place where people could party? Because obviously, you were doing the concerts first. Uh, no, 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 really, though. We started off at um, Crystal Lounge yeah. back in 2016. So, um, I used to live in London, so I, I, I traveled to London like 2002, so I, I spent about uh, well, six, seven years out there, so I came to the United States like 2007, 2008. Yeah, London's and, too cold. Yeah, I know, right? So, <laughs> so I came here, I met Ray, I met Ray's sister first, so we, everybody just connected, and so I went back to London for like uh, a few weeks on holiday, and um. I just looked at what we used to do back in London and I came back, I was like, dude, I went back to London and there's this guy, Smade, shout out to Smade. And uh, it's shout out to Smade. Yeah, yeah it's Smade. one of the biggest promoters out there. So I was like, yo, I can't, we can't replicate what they're doing out there. We go out, party for free, hang out with people and we take people out literally like, Man. we go out, we, we start turning up, it's like we're on the clock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, if we can't do that at other people's uh, places and spots and why can't we just do it ourselves? And we just tried it out first time. And um, the owner of Crystal Lounge was like my boss. I used to work with him, and I just told him, you know, just give us one night. Let's just try one night out. And boom, so that Blackberry, Blackberry. It was called Whoa. Well, so back in the days, BB Connect. So Asians, Blackberry. You want to get resuscitated? Hit me up right now. Let's get you back in action, Blackberry. Just left it for Samsung. How you leaving for Samsung, Blackberry? Before, before, uh, what's up? Before Samsung, iPhone, what's up? Blackberry. That was Blackberry. 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 So we just say, you know what? Let's. What can we call this? We name? got some youngos in the house. I don't think Princess Kate. You know what a Blackberry is? Okay, yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And shout out to Eminem. So yeah. yep. Eminem views um, IB, Project Boy, Seizure. and um, Max Payne. Seizure. So we all started together, but we thank God. Thank God for growth. So. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus is king. That's right. Jesus came through, saved so the day. That's right. Like, Inshallah, too. That's right. I, I think I think I need to I need to explain to y'all like the kind of you know the kind of lifestyle they were living. Too. <laughs> yes, yeah, so please explain <laughs> now. You see, How many girls were there? Technically, I'm second generation SK. Hey, shot. <laughs> These places say I'm 21. These guys are like 60, 70. Bro, they like 60, 70. Look, I'm 40. Fire. Let's 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 shine. Let's let's look at black them crap. For me, 70 years old still. Ah, shackle in the club. Right, I'm telling you, man. Sit down and drink. But for me, you know, coming straight from Nigeria, first night. First night was wild. <laughs> I, I touched down, took a shower, ate some food. We're going out tonight, but I wore like, you know, I'm going from Nigeria, so I wore the best shit, you know. <laughs> I think I'm like the flyest nigga. I had a blue, a shining blue shirt on. Oh, and you can see that white you shower. Walk the club, that, that's that nigga with the blue shirt. You know? <laughs> Long sleeve with the pants, button up, you know what it is? Many loafers. And you know, I was, I was underage. You know, I gotta say it. Yeah. You know, we ain't breaking no laws, but it's too late now. You can't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> It's under age, you know, and we finessed the way into the club. And I remember that first night with the whole top of Cloud Nine. Mm -hmm. Back then, Cloud Nine was. Oh, yeah. nobody was touching that shit. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. We had the whole top of Cloud Nine. And then, I, what was the Jimike? Yeah, yeah. 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 Jimike was, it was this thing. actor, and he was hot back then. Jimike, he's my favorite Nigerian. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Jimike was downstairs. And he was looking up, like, hey, what's going on up there? Yeah. <laughs> what's going on up there? Like, why can't I go upstairs? And we're like, oh, bro, sorry. <laughs> yeah. We don't know you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> this book, that's the truth. We weren't nobody. It wasn't like we were some big ballers that came. No. Nah. It was just a bunch of dudes from Louisiana with a bunch of guys from Houston. And we knew a bunch of people. So coming in, I heard I heard the plan, I heard the goal, I heard the mission. So let's go. I was a freshman. You know, at shout out LA Tech. Bulldogs. Fuck LSU. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. This is my story, okay? <laughs> stay the hell out. Oh, the you don't play. But, um, you know, freshman year, every weekend or every other weekend, we was in Houston. Yeah. Eight six time? Hours, six hours. You know, my brother in front with his broken down ass. <laughs> with your fucking uh, police radar. Oh, yeah. And all of us in the convoy straight to Houston. Man, we remember that? Police radars? We didn't really do yeah. nothing. We were just coming here to have fun. Yeah. But we entered the club and boom, who are these guys? Houston was not ready. So we looked at it and said, yo, we can take over. Let's go take this shit over. Yeah. He had the idea, and it's like, you know, you know, somebody can have an idea in a group and it could die on the next blunt or on the mm -hmm. next drink. Right. Real shit. That's true. Right. Real shit. <laughs> but he had an idea and we actually looked at it and said, you know what, let's see what our boys talking about. Let's look at the clubs, man. We, at that point in time, we knew damn near half the people that was coming to the clubs, literally. So we're like, you know, let's see what's up. Crystal Lounge was popping. Every Saturday, it was popping. Crystal Lounge, that name even sounds popping. Sounds old school. So when we when we got into concerts, so not for you. us that was like, you know what, this is it. The next step, you know. You no, know, this is the uh, the natural progression. Yeah. We skipped a lot of steps. And they're talking like, concerts. They're talking about like selling out 4,000 seats. I, I, shout out to Burner <laughs> Boys. You know, Prevention Center, we got the video. Le, 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 you know, yeah. March 15th. Yeah. But that, for us, you know, when we got to that next level, it was something different. You know, it's like, this is what we want. You know, you see the passion. You see, when you see people happy because of you, that's it. You know, you, you sitting there, man, the money is nice. You know, people think the money is good. Smiles you know, that people you think we're balling out every day, man. Dude, have you gone no more yet? When you just paid rent, <laughs> and then the DJ is not telling you, guy, what's the money? And then the MC, <laughs> and then the money. Money. And then there's no money that night, and you exactly. have to cough out. Yeah, let me check your cash app now. Somebody's money. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Yeah, where's my money, man? I DJ last yeah. night. Cash out, because cash out, you're helping No, for real. Cash out, like, no, nobody knows that side, and that's fine. We we don't. That's why I like my boys, and I like my, my they're all of my, my other brothers. I'm the youngest in the crew. Yeah. Mm. Really? So for so me, what you get the most girls though. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They all deserve it. 
I, I can't, Ladies, don't I, be mistaken. When we come out, we're looking for girls. That's right. When I come out, I'm looking for girls. Get it right. Dabby, don't play me. Love. I'm looking for sexy. I'm looking for cute. I'm looking to have conversations. I'm looking to kiss your cheeks. We're going to say All day, all day. For us, it was just a natural progression. Anyone. And we, you know, we got the passion. We had the drive. And, you know, man, people don't, people think this thing is easy. That's no, not move. Not people want to do a show in two weeks. People want to do a show in, in like a month. And we're looking at you like, do you know what? Yo, obviously you don't because that's how you're running it. Yeah, she shout out to all the artists who are out there. If like, if you're an artist in Houston, if Yo. you're an artist on the come up, you're an international artist. You need and you and you're looking to do anything. Can you're looking to attract me? the Houston market because it's the most diverse market in the whole of the fucking United States. Then you need to come to Shackway Nights. Uh, I haven't Shackway. been to. I haven't heard of any of their events being her. being a flop. Okay, but at the same time, like if you're an artist and you're coming, you know, somebody said, oh, you're coming in a week. Mm -hmm. You know, like. What do you expect? Well, you only have one week of promotion. Yeah. Well, well, not let me I say though. I mean, since we're here trying to give the whole tea, we haven't had elves. Make no mistake. Yes, we're not shots. No, 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 no. Shepherdites <laughs> takes no elves. No, we have to. I am a witness. <laughs> oh, you we have. We have taken yeah. multiple elves before, but I mean, that's just the game. Yeah. You're gonna take the elves. Yeah, you're gonna take the Ws. And you, the thing about that is, you never that's find out. The only time you can know that we took an L is. You hear from me, say yeah. hey, exactly. he will speak. <laughs> nah, I won't speak, but you can tell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see my face after the show. But once you see me smiling like this, oh shit. Oh yeah. It's a wrap. Yeah, Trust me, when people see this shit, if I start beaming in the but, club, y'all know we basically. But we don't, we don't see that. Yeah, yeah all these dentists out here, they're not going to get any work from you. Like <laughs> yeah, you see, you see, I'm going to be like, Trish, look at all you have to talk about. Your teeth's good. Your teeth's good. Look, that's a 76 year old man. Why his teeth are perfect? Look at him. They're straight. Michigan. Yeah, Princess Kay, let's see those choppers. Uh, oh, okay. Caleb. Let me see. Oh, ghost. <laughs> so what do I have to say, though? Oh, he got the girl. What do I have to say, though? Uh, uh, this is something that can be backed up by anybody we work with in Houston. Whether it's a W or an L, everybody gets paid. Yep. 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 So even if we are taking L's and we are not getting paid, yes. everybody we, we put to work, Gets paid in so full. Shepherd Knights is doing it for the culture. Yes. yes. Doing it for the culture it's and the for, community. For us, and like, and like, I gotta tell you, I gotta even point it out. You know, <laughs> shout out to what's the congresswoman? Oh, oh, Sheila Jackson. Shout out Sheila Jackson. 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 You look sexy, oh, wow. Sheila Jackson. Anytime you're in Congress. Yeah. Congress. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that yeah. award right there yeah. for us was like, okay, was people moment. are looking at you. You guys are doing the right I've thing. I've never seen that before, by the way. Mm -hmm. I've never seen what you're doing. an event, you know, promotional company yeah. receive yeah. an award from a congresswoman. Yep. Also, I've never seen it before. Uh, shout out to Alor. Alor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, 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 she's part of the team. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Alor. She, we got, we she got, single? We got. Uh, <laughs> well, we know it's gone. Where's she going? Uh, uh, <laughs> now it's not her team. But, like, for us, that was like a, a good recognition that you guys are on the right path. You guys are helping the community. It's not just about the money. People are seeing that you're doing some work. Now, we still got some work to do. We know that. You know, we're not perfect. We're not no. This the platform no just are they, like but, so the platform know, is built already. You know, yeah. yeah. You know, we yeah. got the base. We understand the, the basic of the business. You know, for us, it's the next step. Yeah. But so for us now, it's just scale. Yeah, because I, I think one of the biggest misconceptions they have about like you know people think about Houston, they have the biggest Nigerian community. So let's just go over there and have a concert. There are lots of Nigerians, yeah. but that's they they don't know about the daily grind yeah. that happens behind the scenes. Of like you know the calls, all the running shout around, all, the all yeah. Shout out to all the people that work with us. I'm too. telling you, man. I mean, it's it's I not. Don't you think real, about it. We have the they biggest are. Nigerian community in this, in the state, so that's the right. Thing, there'll be lots of people yeah. at concert. Nah, it doesn't happen like that. But why is that? Though? Put in. But that, I think it's the problem Nigerian. is most of the Nigerians too many Nigerian in Houston, events. Exactly, like you know, most What's of them here they want to yeah. like do something else exactly. other than Nigerian, other than yeah. Nigerian yeah. stuff. Yeah. But like I said last time, one of the biggest things is the experience they've had with concerts in the past. Mm -hmm. Yes. They don't want to have to that be disrespected yeah. when yeah, they come out to, to have fun. Sure. You know, and like I said before, shout out to our, all our sub promoters because they're they're really doing the What you call them sub promoters? Yeah, the people, the people who because put to the streets, the people who run the streets. Yeah, like, they can't do it. Yeah, they're they're the real heroes. Like we we still we still recognize ourselves as promoters. 
Even though anybody can call us whatever, we don't care. We as ourselves are super motors. We still go out there and do the grind on a daily, daily basis. Yeah. So if I call you a super motor, that does not mean that you're involved. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, to me. And for me, it's just, you know, you're on the next level. You're on the level just below me. I'm still paying you. You're still getting paid. But, you know, that's what it is. It's just yeah. I mean, without y'all, like, most not of the concerts we have, it wouldn't be a success. Trust I mean, me, obviously. Trust so. me, because, dude, all these are my old. You got me. It's <laughs> 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 Seven o'clock. Shots. Seven o'clock. I ain't got no money. Jimmy, Jimmy, I'm lying. I'm lying. So you trying to tell me if I call Papa Ike at six p.m. Papa Ike? Oh no, no, no. Sleep, sleep, sleep. 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 You know, it's the grandfather, like, okay, kids, he's that one behind Papa you, Ike. behind the scenes. Papa Ike. Ike. And I thought, you know, Sir Ike was the muscle. Hello.
So a lot of times we've heard people talk smack about us. We've heard things said on the streets about us. But you're never going to ever see us go on social media saying some nonsense about someone. You're never going to hear us talking nonsense about people. We're just going to handle our business and make our money and keep it moving. You know, that's one thing. And two, I think Oreo, DJ Oreo, shout out to him. Shout out to O. One shout time he said, he said, I mean, I've never seen a group of people stay together for 10 years and exactly. not break up or split up Amen. or have some problems. Yeah. And this is not the new edition. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a cliche, but we are actually a family. Like, yeah. we trust me, before Ray died, you could talk to Ben. Me and Ben used to get at it. Like, all the, Ben always trying to whoop my ass all the time. <laughs> and, and one of the things that, that one of the there, good things right. that came out from Ray is that me and him got a lot closer after Ray died. But, and Ray was the one who, if not for Ray, man, shit, man. man. <laughs> yeah, Ray, with that said, was trying to whip my ass, like, yeah, so, like he was Shekwinites is in the building. Shout out to our lost friend, Ray. That's right. We're going to be back. We're going to take a quick break. All my ladies need to powder their nose, right? That's right. We need to do a smoke break. That's right. All right, let's move some. <laughs> hey! And my name is Heaven Moves, like the world's most expensive DJ. Jeez. You already know. We'll take a quick break. We're going to talk about Davido, March 15th. Shekman Knight's got a whole bunch of tours lined up. Yeah. That's right. Whole concerts lined up. We'll be right back. 10 minutes. That's right. Let's go. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Welcome back to Afro Vibes Worldwide Radio, the T Clubs. That's right, shout out to our sponsors, not just OK Tiki, who can Shaq Knights. That's right, we're here. That's right, with the SK Kings. Shaq Knights Kings. We got a new face in here. What's the name? Hey, Kali. Kali, why do you say it like that? You got a boyfriend? <laughs> hey, Kali, don't have a boyfriend. You're getting taken tonight. Welcome to the party, Kali. That's right. So Ben's in the building, Caleb's in the building, Princess K in the building, and Stage is in the building too. Pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, Ike in the building, side two. So Jimmy in the building, that's right. MC Mikolo, boss MC in the building too, and Lola Bunny. Chee chee! So, that's right, sorry about that. And of course, let my Shandy. Now he's in the building too. But March 15, that's right, in Houston, Texas, that's right. The Prince, the King, David, a good time tour, coming, Revention Center. Ladies and gentlemen, please, I know you you, you came to Revention Center last year, you experienced Burner Boy, brought to you by Shekwa Knights. Yeah. You want to come for the DeVito concert, it's a good time tour. You can expect a lot of excitement, you can expect first class entertainment, you can expect it to be packed. You don't want to miss it, it's on a Sunday. The composers that's are right. coming. The composers are coming Shit. as well. He cools is in the building too. He cools in the building as well, that's Stop right. It. So every the whole entire OBO team is coming yeah, through. It might be a surprise guest. Ooh. And there's some some other surprise guests. Always, 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 always a surprise guest. Yeah, always a surprise guest. Let's go with Seattle. Seattle was a surprise guest. Stay tuned. That's right. Don't send the check. That's all. So like like how does how do, how do how do you guys work with you know all these worldwide you know promoters to create an event particularly for Houston like when does it come around because all I see is like I'll just be on my phone and it's like boom Davido is coming in March like but I know like there's a lot of planning that goes into it there's a lot of communication that goes into it like is it, is it that you guys have an attache that's in Nigeria that gets all this stuff that's but the you, attache right there he's sitting right there with oh, the oh, 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 with oh, the oh, I am SK um, he's hello. chain on yeah that's so basically, um, so once you do something and people can see what you do, they they call you from all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, so, a lot of our uh, 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 they reach out to us. Uh, with references. Yeah. So that like most mostly referrals, like like basketball, for instance. So basketball is is my guy. Yeah. I talk to him like. Maybe once a week or once every other week or something like that. We text back and forth. And I'll be like, yo, boss, what's good? What's going on in Nigeria? And he'll be like, what do you want? I'll connect you. And that's that's the thing. If you work with somebody and you do something good, they always like talk to other people about you. And yep. before you know it, they'll start blowing up your phone and, hey, 
I can't say no to money. So <laughs> hey, so like for this video instead, for for example, we've been planning this since like November last year. And yep. Yes. And if so, was, you knew he was coming out with a new album. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. So there's always a plan. You don't just wake up one morning and be like, oh, I'm that. going on a that's 22 <laughs> on a 22 city tour or something. Nah. As, nah. And that, that's one thing I've I've also noticed with a lot of people. Not, not necessarily those only those who work with just people, gen, general business people in Houston. They tend to be very short-sighted in the sense that they want to make money now and they're not thinking about the future. They're not thinking so they call either they call exorbitant price prices or they they're not flexible or they're not logical in like, their demands. And in my mind, I'm like, dude, are you are you just trying to? Make this money right now and call it a day, or are you trying to build a relationship? And that's that's just, what SK has always just been about. Answer to your question: Why is it that our shows are always cheap and people are always still complaining? What? Because you see, <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, you heard, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Cheap and complaining. <laughs> like, I, didn't, I didn't hear that part. So, it's if you if you if you were in Houston before we started, you know you would go to concerts and you would just be like, what the hell? So I'm paying eighty bucks and you pay eighty dollars and you won't you stand the whole night in VIP. They'll yeah. tell you, oh man, it's sold out, that's it. Yeah. So when she you came and out. we, you know, we got the VIP on the VIP. You know, we had a revention last year. If you were in VIP, trust me, you had the best time. You know? yeah. You had two bottles on you and it was it was yeah. six people on that table and if you had four you was fine. You know. But so all of us downstairs, we, we were like suffering. Dude, all of you that are on stage, you would have been in the zanga. You guys enjoyed the concert. Yeah. Yeah. We were smoking downstairs, though. No, if you look back behind y'all, the bosses up up there. Yes, I saw it. Oh no, they were they were they living on life. Yeah. It was bottles. It was and, it was. And that's the thing. And that's why we're trying to take it to the next level. So, like, for instance, I'm not what June 6th, You guys are oh, yeah, already yeah. out there. So, I'm going to talk about it now. Yes, let's talk about it more. So, we already did the prevention center. So now we're going back to the we're going to the NRG. So, and actually, you know, funny thing was I was trying to get the Toyota Center, but it was booked. We're going to get the Toyota Center soonish. Yeah, we're going to get there. So, yeah. Amen. Shout out to that. I think I think one of one of the things that sets us in our part is like the experience you get when you come to a ship and ice concert. Like we just, or oh, actually we see, you know, not trying to like, you know, come after any other promoter or anything like that, but like most of the experiences that we get from people that go to all the shows, you know, they're always like, damn, yeah, like, the first of all, they paid this much money, they didn't yeah. even have that much fun. Or, they didn't have water. You know, they all paid a hundred bucks, and, 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 and they tell you the show starts at 10, like that, and yeah. the you're out there till like 2 a.m. Like 3 a.m. Like like yeah. Artists yeah. aren't even there, yeah. No, so, trust me, like, if I say we start at 8 o'clock, it's 8 o'clock, and the show ends at 11. If you come at 11 o'clock, I'll take your money back. Hey, real quick, real quick. On the heater. Actually, on the day of Burner Boy, there was this person because we had like <laughs> tickets that we left at the door for people. Mm -hmm. So there was this one person who had paid for his ticket for everything, VIP ticket, and he hits me up at like eleven fifteen, talking about I'm here, like, come get me your ticket. I'm like, dude, this man is singing here. The show is over. Like, I mean, he was like, so we're going. I'm like, can't do anything with your money. You pay it, it's gone, it's it's over. It's I mean, it's just, and, and that, since you're the chicken master, master bro. Since it's tea time, and we're dropping some tea. Yeah, drop some tea. Um, um, for me, it's like, the streets will always talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do the smallest thing, you can do the biggest thing, but the streets will talk. And people don't lie about the money that they spend. If you spend a hundred dollars and you mad about the hundred dollars, you're gonna be mad about the hundred dollars for a couple of years. If you went to a concert and they told you spend a hundred dollars on a bag of weed and you're gonna get mad because it's like I paid for this and you guys are not giving me that respect. For us, we we pride ourselves on that experience. That's why if you pay for VIP, you gonna you gonna be a VIP. You gonna get some food. You gonna get some drink. You gonna get my attention? I'm gonna come. I'm, I'm, gonna come I'm gonna actually walk around. Cali like, heard. No, Cali heard yeah. food. I heard food. Cali heard food. Like, I, got you got me I know the way to your heart now. Yeah, Cali, you gonna get my attention? Hey, I'm gonna ask for, you for all us, right. For us, like I said, we still consider ourselves as promoters before anything else. We're businessmen, yeah, but we're promoters. So I'm gonna still come meet you because I know that yo, my boss now, nah, boss Alpha, you don't okay. kill. Yeah, you want that boss? Exactly. You want me to add this spring roll for your this thing? <laughs> so don't worry, it's on the house. Yes, sir. Customer that's, service. That's how it's gonna roll. Taking it to the next level. 
Because for us, we so understand. We let me ask a question, it. though, uh, Sir Jimmy. SKE hiring? Where can I fill out application? Hello. Hello. Oh, no, no, no. Let me tell you. Hello. The Hello. The family's so <laughs> bad. It's time, bad. W2s, you need to start sending out W2s, right? Let me put it like this. Let me put it like this. Let me put it like this. So. We are we are here. Ladies and gentlemen, Shekman Knights is hiring. <laughs> <laughs> They're hiring right now. Go on the website, fill out our application. Zip recruiter, we are there. Hey, 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 They're on hey, 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 Career Builder 2. Wants the jobs. So, <laughs> so, so let, me, let me let me drop something. Let me let me drop something real quick. Real quick. Right, yeah, finish. But for us, it's all about that, you know. Ah. If you're about that money, you about your hustle. I don't say you're professional. So Jimmy's about his money. He's got a Versace oh, no. bracelet. Everybody. Everybody. Give up the Versace bracelet, oh, that was bro. But for me, it's like if mm -hmm. you if you're about your money, you know. We know how America is, yo. We all live in the American life, quote unquote. Yeah, we're African we're Nigerians in America, yeah. you know? And by the way, for all you white people out there, just so you know, 70% of the doctors in the United States are Nigerians. Yeah. Donald Trump! Yeah. Trump, take that! When Trump gets sick, it's a Nigerian that's gonna cut you no. up! <laughs> Bruv! No, but for real, if I get off the heat, if I... Yeah, go on, go on, go on. So, I just, I just hit that with a Kanye. Yo, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 my bad, bro. My bad. So, Trump don't like black people. So, <laughs> as, as you know, we, we're we hiring, you know. Oh, but, oh, oh, but, oh. But, there's a but. SKE Joe there's, fan. There's a big but. <laughs> if you're professional and you're about your money, you always have a place at SKE. Facts. Yep. Because we're always about the money. Facts. Yeah, that's true. You bring something to the table, trust me, you're going to have a seat at the table. And that's one thing I like about Shepard Knights. Like, you know, I, I, I didn't know you guys until you came into the radio station. I've got to know you guys. You guys are 100% professional. Yes, they are. And that's, that's the different thing, which is like you're treating it like it's a real job that people deserve customer service. Mm -hmm. We don't have those bad experiences where we're waiting in line. Like you're treating everybody like this is a business. Yeah. And, it, you know, like this is some type of, I wouldn't say American business, but, you know, we tend to think of American business as high in class. But you guys are treating Shepard nice like we, we get the American feedback. business. Yeah, like, we get I the feedback. If I was to give advice to business people or people trying to get into the entertainment business, you gotta think long. You gotta think long game. You gotta be professional. You, yeah, you have yeah. to have that foresight. That's, that's the team right there. Long game. You you nothing short. Sure. Because a lot of the, you, 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 there are a lot of times where we've made decisions where we know that we're, we're at a loss. We are the short end of the stick. But you still go ahead and do yeah, it. Yeah, because we're trying to make that connection. We're trying to network and we're trying to build off those connections. Yeah. And for someone like basketball, basketball would never do a show in Houston if it's not us on it. That's just a fact. At least he will call us. Yep. You would not do the show. Oh, he will call, call us, but you will not do the show if SKE is not on it. I, I, I respect. And that's that, that's that connection. Yeah. And there are many people like that right now. Astasia, mm -hmm. you're an artist. And you obviously want her today. Yeah. Are you? Really nice. Yeah, no. yeah, she's really nice. And by the way, she's yeah, single, not, so she's ready to get taken. Yeah. She's ready to get chosen. Yeah. Don't play with us. Don't play with us. There's a lot of Nigerian men and African men in here. There's a lot of assurance. A lot of assurance. That's right. Wait, 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 you in here, we all do relationships. Listen, Have you ever had a Nigerian man? You ever had Nigerian meat? Have you had Nigerian meat? Astasia, have you had Nigerian meat? Yes! Yeah, right. Are you talking about which Nigerian? I ain't telling you. We're not about spilling no tea. I ain't spilling it. You have the wrong Nigerian meat, I'm telling you that. You haven't had any kind of Nigerian meat and you need some in your life. Say amen. Amen. That's right. She's ready. That's right. She's ready. That's right. Kelly, what about you? You like Nigerian men? I do. You let them take you down? No. <laughs> I feel offended though. I feel offended. Yeah, I feel offended. Yeah, I feel offended. No, Cameroon. Cameroon is right next to Nigeria. Cameroon is right next to Nigeria. So technically, you're Nigerian. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Like three percent. And by the way, all girls go to heaven. Welcome to Hawaii. Yeah. Stasia, you're an artist.
artist. Yeah. You're an artist. Yeah. So what, like, when you went, have you ever performed at a, a concert with like 4,000 people? No, not yet. I was Do you want to? to? Yeah. This is your opportunity to talk to these guys. Oh, yeah. You know, this is your opportunity to talk to them, like, uh, Princess K, you're a singer. This is your opportunity where they, there's literally going to be probably like 4,000 people at this DeVito event on March plus, 15. Plus. plus, this is your opportunity to talk to them. Do whatever it takes. I know what I would do if I was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Future. Now That's right. These guys would be like, they be like, I can't happened. remember. I had too much tea. But I better do it. I done jumped in the DM on Instagram many times. You know in the DM, you're co-hosting with them right now. Yeah. You're touching him. Tea, Not too much tea. That's right. You want Papa what? Ben to touch your thigh? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, you know that it actually Papa goes ben down. Can rub yeah. you. It really goes down. Yeah. 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 You know that you go down. Yeah. We lock my phone. There is lock, and I'm signing off. You need some. You need more Nigerian cocoa butter in your life. Oh my Jesus! All right, so I was gonna drop a tea. Um, so drop some tea. Has, so Shekman Knights Entertainment. So very soon we're gonna start out something. It's gonna be Shekman Knights. Well, no, well Shekman Knight SK Hospitality Group. Group. Fire! So, Fire! So, you want to talk a little bit more about that? Like, what, what, what can we expect? Like, it's it's going to be the parent company yeah, for like, all the things honesty, we have planned. Like because the, we, we have like a whole bunch of things we're trying to put out there. All um, right. We just want to... Let me fill out my application right now. <laughs> yes. I mean, so... It's a man. So, 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 you see, you see what's yeah, going to happen. A, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a whole thing. Like, yeah. I mean, entertainment, concerts, nightlife, mm -hmm. uh, adult playgrounds, anything. Yeah. We just, and we, we have the money. We have the money and we have the numbers. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Don't give me money. Drop my money. Somebody said money. Hey. Don't worry. So that's yeah, because, you know, like, I, I look at... Like a little bit too much. <laughs> okay. You know, there's, there's, a group in, there's a group in New York. It's called the, uh, you know, Tau Tau Group. And they own, you know, they own, like, One Oak. Okay. And then they own Tau. Oh, okay. So yeah. they own Tau in New York, they own yeah. Tau in Las Vegas, Vegas. Yeah. then they own, you know, like, yeah. one, uh, one, uh, what's the name? Uh, one Oak, yeah. LA, 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 Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. And the, another company in Houston that took advantage of that same type of formula is Clay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The owner yeah. of Clay, yeah. yeah. Bisu, yeah. Clay, yeah. Spire, yeah. Hart, yeah. yeah. same thing. So. Uh, I'm saying like we have the, the, the what's the name, the financial backing yeah, from whether our big papas in Nigeria. Even if even if we don't have the financial Uncle Dango take holla at me! I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> sad. Sad. Excuse me, sad. Sad. <laughs> sad. <laughs> but um for us, you know, we we came to this country as immigrants, you know. We have a story. I mean each of us has a story. If you man, if you sit down with these I think, people, uh, uh, okay. if you sit down with these old people, they'll tell you some stories. I'm like, yeah. bro, I'm I'm happy you went through that. That I didn't have to go through that. So thank you for telling me that you went through that. But for us, we all have a story and we all have a dream. You know, the American dream of, you know, being successful and being financial. We have a family. You have a, shit. I want the white picket fence and everything. You know. So for us, with four wives, each, 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 each of us, we have that dream, and we, for us coming together as a group and being brothers and being able to work together as a as a family. For me, that's SKE. It's not. It's not about you know who you know. It's literally not about who you know. Because let me tell you something. I will do business with somebody I don't like. Because it's, it's all business. about being professional, man. Yeah. It's, all, it's all about business. Like that's that's, you know? that's just yeah. one or two of it. Well, I know you're going to need girls for the hospitality group. So, so. I mean, so Lola Bunny <laughs> you know, could be your chief Hello. hostess. <laughs> Organize the ladies, Lola. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see that? They're, 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 running, they're, running NR, they're running, what's the name? They're running Revenge. So you're about to run NRG and Toyota. Um, SKU. Um, what? Uh, <laughs> 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 
We need to shut my girls. I mean, SKU girls. We got some. We got some. Services. Services. Queen. Oh, 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 oh. That's right, Lola. Sorry. CFO said Duchess. 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 I don't even know what I mean by that. We got to keep it classic. We got to bring the royal family. Just keep it to your ear. Duchess Lola. Oh, Rolls off the top. I got a question for the up and coming artists. You know what? Astasia. Scratch the up and coming artists. Yeah. Because y'all, y'all in your field, you're working with us. Mm -hmm. know, what can we do for you that we're not already doing? Yes, mm -hmm. speak, Thank preach you. for us. Come on, for Princess us. K. Our work, our work as promoters is to give you a platform. You know, we got, we got. There's a lot of upcoming artists. Man, dude, I can start singing tomorrow. I'm up and coming. SKE. Good thing you brought yeah, that. Yeah, 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 Jimmy. Good hey. thing you brought that. Oh, no, 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 let me, let me well, finish my question. Finish. Now I'm about to laugh. Me, for me, it's like, <laughs> what can we do that we're not already doing? Because for, for us, we're about the community. You know, we don't want to bring some, you know, we know all these big boys, all of them are big. You know, if they come to Houston, they suck all the oxygen. It's like Trump. Mm -hmm. No politics at all. It's just facts. You suck all the oxygen in the room and nobody has a chance to breathe. So for us, what can we do as as promoters giving you a platform that we kind of redo? Knowing that, you know, we, we have restrictions. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to yeah. talk, the main, uh, if y'all don't know, let me give you some small tea, professional tea. Um, when we're doing concerts, the main act has a say in yeah. who gets on that stage. Yeah. 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 It's all about yeah. the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. If you're on Burner's stage, Burner don't want no... Kum kum kum. Kum kum kum. wants you to start his vibe so he can come here and end that vibe. Yeah. yeah. If you were at Burner's yeah. show last year, you already know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You, well, so you, you had K Kilo, you, you had every yeah. Billy G, you had um, yeah. you FB. You had everybody FB. on that stage. You had Boss MC2 hyping it out. Yeah. See, oh, the credit yeah. is not given. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. The credit yeah. is not given. No, 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 no. Bro, you already got booked. You already got booked. Yeah. 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 The credit ain't given. Everybody should get booked. The credit ain't given. They made that shit. We're not on that stage. We're not We're not. We're not. MCs or DJs. We are behind the scenes. And that's how we roll. I trust but that. I knew how hard that, that stage, is because it was hard, and I understand that four thousand people looking at you, it's not, not a, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not yeah, Real quick, yeah, there was this wrong. one time, a hundred people was not. There was one time with Ray, yeah, exactly. our boy Bills was performing, and he was like, "Hey, SKE, get on stage with us, we're with me." And me, um, Ben, Ray, we got on that stage. I think Jimmy too, and we started dancing with him. And look, look, performing is is. Freaking Bro. tiring, yo. This is like 30 seconds. And I was like, yo, my heart is about to burst. I gotta get off the stage. Yeah. Because like, so I know what you guys do. You gotta dance yeah. because like, people, if people sit at you and look at you like you're singing your song, man, automatically it's like, man, that guy's dead. Man. Yeah. Dead, yeah. So let, let, let's, 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 let's So for yeah. me, yeah. I want to know from y'all, what can we do? I, I know like one thing for me that um that a lot of Cause I'm new to the whole community, and they have me now doing Afrobeat music. I've never done Afrobeat before. What does Afrobeat mean? What does it mean to you? Um, I like it. it Some it shaka rim 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 rim. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I feel like it hits the soul. Like I've heard some beats that I've gotten, and it hits the soul. Like I, I am a singer and a rapper and a writer, but. Like this Afrobeat music, it, it takes me to a whole nother level. Like I have music getting ready to come out this spring. Okay. So I feel that that's going to open the door for me to be able to relate to other artists in the Nigerian community. What's the Cameroon? Um, what's the other one? Like Caribbean people, you know, all of it. Just Africa in general is it, it's gonna open up. Yeah, you know, and Stacia's doing her thing. You know, she's got you know she's got like seventy six thousand followers on Instagram. You're doing your thing. Why are you lying? And, and you know, like honestly, like all of those followers and me being verified, like I really didn't get that from the music. I really got that from me modeling, being a plus size model. But like when I started yeah, we doing like the music, that too. I'm I see those naked videos. I'm on team. Sorry, I'm on team. I know you ain't pulling nothing up. Over here, no, but, ah, Stasia, yo, yo, oh, oh, Lord. oh, 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 FW. You That's sing, girl? That's <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 o
put on the spot. <laughs> 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 Can I make Dang, you I know, like? Um, yeah. Honestly, I would just say uh, not even as much as uh, opportunity to get on like the big stage as much, but more of an opportunity to have like um, reoccurring events. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That happen maybe every two weeks. You know, Working unplugged. Um, you know, maybe even if you do it every month, like not necessarily like a karaoke night, but like a open mic night, a showcase open night, night showcasing. Yeah. You know, a becoming artist night um, that kind of just allows us to, you know, show what we got at the at the moment. Yeah, it's good and because you know, like uh, I'm DJing the living room in uh, tonight, uh, which is at the House of Blues. Okay. Oh. And the I'm event. All these dudes. Uh, say again. I'm taking all these notes. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, the, the, the living room, I've interviewed the, the guys that throw it on is DJ Tay Powers, who's Maya's official DJ, and Pete Jacobs, who's an artist. I'm going to be there tonight. I'm DJing uh, the party today. This is DJ Tay's uh, birthday party. And shout out to your boy. Who's your, your boy that, um, is it the G Day? Whose wife is uh oh, oh his birthday uh, his wife's birthday yeah. oh it's actually yeah. his sister in law oh, yeah. yeah happy birthday to happy your birthday. sister in law shout out to me I'm sorry twenty second happy so, anniversary to y'all you know um, yeah. um you know, y'all keep it real but you see the, the event <laughs> itself is is really they just get these nice R and B artists <laughs> and uh, they're all local and they sing and then it's always packed and people just come in there like people reserve tables mm. to just come in there like you just bring your date out. They normally used to do it on a Sunday, now they're moving it to Saturday. It's going to be busy in there. The House of Blues said so the foundation room is really nice. It's, they have all these um, e- Middle Eastern, Asian art, you know, okay. Oriental rugs, okay. paintings of Buddhas. Okay. It's very loungy, okay. classy. It's also, every time they do it, it's sold out. Can I say something though? Um, while, while we hear everything you're saying, and we're taking notes, I'm definitely going to take that into account. I still feel like on your side, you guys have to understand that this is your career yes so you have to put everything in it in, in how you produce your music how you um how you um perform yes. mm. that performance is a big thing a lot of people cool. have oh, yeah. a lot of people have, have the music great new music yeah. i see people with great music but they don't have that presence. stage presence Correct, yeah. Yeah. they don't have that they, they don't know how to make a performance cd it's a different cd just play dj play my music and i'm just gonna lip sync yeah, yeah. And it's a different thing to have a performance CD. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many of you guys came to the MI show last November. And MI is a rapper. All he does is rap. rap. But and to be honest, I was kind of skeptical. And he's my favorite rapper of all time. Yep. I was kind Shout of skeptical. MI, man. But he came in there and Killed blew the, the house down Yo, with his performance. I like Jesse Jags, bro. <laughs> Jesse <laughs> Jags, bro. <laughs> Jago. Why you with that? Yeah. Yeah. The point, the point, <laughs> is, the point <laughs> is, the point is, you might feel like your music is not something you can perform to in the club or whatever. But mm. if you actually dedicate yourself to it, there's a way you can push it in the club and perform it and blow the house down. So it's up to yeah. you to figure out how you're gonna connect to the people that make your performance yeah. that thing yeah. so people and, are always and, talking about you in houston and just to add to that you know we have a we have outlets on a weekly basis you know we have wednesday we have thursday we have friday we have saturday we have sunday from what you're telling me you're telling me that you guys would prefer to have a consistent access to the crowd and to the community rather than a big show what, on a big stage. Every few months or something. Yeah. For us, that's like switching the market. Because if you're in America, you want the big stage. You don't want the clubs and the hookah lounges. Yeah. We can give you the hook clubs and the hookah lounges. So if you're telling me that that's what you want, we have access to that. And just to double up on what IK is talking about, you know, you know, I cannot, I can't chase your dream more than you. Yeah. I'm, it is not my job Facts. as a promoter, as a concert thrower, as whatever you want to label me, to make you blow. It's my job to give you that platform. If you have that platform and you have one shot, yeah, you take it. Eminem said it. Oh, <laughs> you want to take it? It's one shot. Hey, so you got one shot. So, 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 uh, so Caleb, bro. <laughs> Obviously, you, you've heard what they said. What's your obviously you've been, been yes. you've been oh, an artist. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. So, from my perspective, like I've done a lot of open mics. I've done small shows. My thing is that one shot. Like where I mean, multiple shots, but I've never been performing in front of that many people. I feel like I have stage presence. 
I could perform like how you saying not lip syncing. Like I do all that thing, all those things. Like when I make a song, I create it so like okay, if I'm performing, can I perform this type of song? Yeah, and my thing is, right now as an independent artist, I don't have that promotion. So for me, just meeting y'all, I think that's the best thing y'all could do because I, I have I didn't know about y'all. So more access to us. Yeah. More okay. access to well, people okay. that like y'all. I think that the connection is not Networking. what you know is who more you know. more networking yeah, on our end. Yeah. Because I know Bills and, and like yeah. artists. Oh yeah, like Bills is family. That's yeah, that's family. family. And that's I see the boys. type of uh, shout out to Bills. Shout out to Bills. That's Bills. 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 Bills will be here next week. By the way, yeah. like this, this by me being <laughs> having access to that and like uh, being able to shine and do what I do. That's that's gonna be the best thing for me because like I said, as an independent artist, I'm doing it by myself. Yeah, you know, funding myself. I record all my own stuff so it's just I, have a, I have a rebuttal to that okay so as, a, as, as an upcoming artist do you think that you gotta hustle more than me <laughs> what, what? Uh, yeah, for, sure. <laughs> for your career for your for life sure, for, your dream. for sure for sure so yeah. you gotta work double time yeah i'm just but, giving you up stage exactly yeah. and if if we we set up a show and it's like okay this is this is the location this is the tickets Oh, I'm out there, but I, I don't. Need the, I need promo. I need the tickets sold. Yeah. Not even you know, that. I'm mean, yeah. full yeah. package. As not, a, gonna be your not even that. One thing I've noticed, and this is not just in entertainment. This is in sports. This is just basically in life. You have to be a student of the game. You have to go look at the people who are successful, the people who have the best performance out there. You gotta go look at their videos, see what they're doing right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to study the game and go. It, it's, it's just like school, it's everything. Mm -hmm. You have so to actually right now, immerse the yourself in it and go emulate those who are successful at it and bring that, that same presence into your, into your craft. Got so it. that when they put you on that stage, even if they they're gonna be like, hey, song. that guy sound like Burner Boy. Even if they don't know your shit, even if they don't know what you're singing, the first time they're hearing you, if you have that impact, mm -hmm. if you hit.